Hello, I'm Ventus, and this is Hollow Knight, a metroidvania about bugs. What a description, right? No, it has nothing to do with Bleach. It has nothing to do with the stupid hollows in Bleach. Nobody likes Bleach anyway. I don't like Bleach. Not anymore. Alright, well I just, I just got rid of all the people who actually like Bleach, and maybe would have watched this now they're all gone. See ya, bye. Anyway, so this is a metroidvania about bugs. It's probably an action-oriented metroidvania, from what I can see from the screenshots. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time, and uh, after finishing Always Awakening last month, I guess I guess it's this month, because um, the YouTube series was ongoing for about a month or so, but uh, after finishing that game, there was a little more to be desired in terms of action. That game was very puzzle-oriented, right? So I'm, I'm assuming this game is going to be more action-oriented. It's going to be more like Castlevania, or uh, more recently, Salt and Sanctuary. It has a kind of dark tone. You can tell by the music. It's really melancholy. Uh, so I assume it's very dark, the tone, and it's going to be, you know, a lot of action. Cool mechanics, like rolling around, dodging. I hope it's going to be like that. So yeah, um, I don't really know what to expect from this game. It's just one of those games that I've been looking forward to for a long time. It's definitely not one of my most anticipated games in terms of Metroidvanias, but it's 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 up there, I guess. Um, I'm mostly looking forward to, I guess, Time Spinner is probably one of my most anticipated, but there's no release date on that. I mean, this is just a little segue. Uh, it has nothing to do with Hollow Knight. I guess it has to do with Metroidvanias, um, but yeah, this will be hopefully as good as Salt and Sanctuary or Ori in the Blind Forest, because I'm getting really nice chill tones from it already. So let's just start. New game, of course. Uh, no, we don't need to do this. Brightness is fine. I hope this game is fully voiced. I, I highly doubt it, though. Most indie games are not fully voiced, even though I wish they were. Uh, in Wilds Beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you, the challenge met. Under Palest Watch, you taught. We changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy of Hollow, Hollow Nest, Monomen the Teacher. I'm pretty tired of narrating, honestly. I really wish people would just hire a voice actor or two. Like a narrator voice actor and like the main character voice actor and uh, maybe like another one or two voice actors. I know it's expensive. It's asking for a lot. Oh, let's just watch this. So yeah, bugs. Bugs are creepy. I hope this game is kind of creepy. So far it's pretty beautiful. That's the main character, I'm pretty sure. He kind of looks like a hollow. From Bleach. I mean, I guess a lot of them kind of look like bugs. And he's a knight! He's got a sword! Or, or a lance or something. It looks like a lance. Knights have lances. He's so cute. Look at that. I assume it's a he. Could be a she. Could be something in between. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Oh! Wait. Ow, that, that's painful. They're just throwing me into the game? Nice! I like that, actually. No stupid intro. Oh, did I, did I find a secret? Okay, the attack speed is very clunky. Game by Team Cherry. Unfortunately, I didn't have to do a full disclosure of this game, because I didn't... Oh my god, you can destroy stuff! Oh my god, this is awesome! No disclosure because I didn't get the game for free. Oh my god, you can destroy things! Ugh, die! I got some juice? Wow, I killed the bug. I'm really enjoying this game already. Full disclosure is not necessary because I didn't get the game for free. Although I would have liked to get the game for free. Holy crap. Okay, well I got damaged already. 
Uh, I guess the top left little alien icons are my HP. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to cancel. There's no animation canceling in this game so far. Uh, maybe when I get more abilities, it'll be possible. I'm guessing this is money? You can kind of animation cancel the, uh, turnaround, right? This game is so cool. Oh my god, I, I love this game so far. And I'm not even getting paid to say that. I guess I never get paid to say anything. Getting a game for free is not the same as getting paid to do a, a playthrough. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. I'm assuming me. Uh, your great strength marks you among us, amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul. Oh my god, it is going to be like Dark Souls. That's cool, I guess. That, actually, that's really cool. I, I want more action. Action-based, skill-based combat. Because Always Awakening's combat was, was really mediocre because it was more puzzle-based. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. That's kind of like Ori in the Blind Forest, right? Where you had to, like, focus something to save. Oh my god, Medusa head! Actually, you know that enemy that just attacked now? That's not a- I would not consider that a basic enemy. Because it flies directly at you, instead of just being, like, a neutral enemy that just jumps around or flies around randomly. The one thing I don't like about this game so far is uh, when you hit things, you actually get knocked back like that. You see? You move backwards. Oh, wait, you can cancel like this, I think. Is it faster? This might be faster, actually. Maybe by like one or two frames. What is that? Oh, it's squishy. I'm just killing everything. Oh, it's extra health. I see. Can I make it across this chasm? Yes, I can. Is there a map? There's an inventory. There's a gem? A gem. I'm assuming these are gems. There's some kind of crest. Focus. Oh, these are abilities. Old nail. Oh! Oh, cool. Okay, so how do I pull out my map? I guess I can't yet. There has to be a map. Please don't pull an owl boy on me. Okay, I'm gonna go left, because I think this might be the way, because it's going upwards, right? Usually in a cave... No, that's not true, is it? In a cave, you either go up or down. OW! Okay. I, uh, yeah, I should probably watch where I'm walking, slow down a bit. I also need to be careful when I attack, because if... I also need to be careful where I drop. Uh, I need to be careful when, where I attack because uh, of that brief knockback, right? Something is stuttering. There's, there's like random stuttering every once in a while. Um, in this recording, I'm not going to do anything about it, but in future recordings, I'm going to try and fix it. I'll investigate ways to fix it. So I'm assuming, I hope so, that, that I hope that the playthrough gets better over time in terms of... Uh, video quality. But it looks alright, right? It looks alright to me. If it looks alright to me, then it's probably alright, because I'm, I'm pretty picky about things looking right. No! Ah, the point of no return. You can't go back unless you get abilities. These... Oh, I thought the platforms were going to drop, but I guess not. This is one of those games that kind of leaves you to your own devices, I think. Using sound indicators and visual indicators to give you ideas of where to go. Uh, what else? Let me try this. Ah, oh, damn it, I couldn't reach the other side. It's because there's one of those things over there that gives you money. It looks like that's the currency, the 78 on the top left. Oh, goodbye. I'm just destroying everything. I love destroying things. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Oh, that sounds epic. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. And if I don't? Bear witness to the last and only civilization 
spelled with an S. So this was not created in the US. The Eternal Kingdom. Hallow Nest. Hallow or Hollow? Hallow. It's Hallow. Hollow is H-O-L-L-O-W. Hallow is like Halloween. So Hallow Nest. Let me just destroy their gate. Oh yeah. The sacred place of king and creator. Let me just destroy it. <laughs> awesome. I have no concern for anything. Just destroy it all. This game is beautiful, though. Dirtmouth, the fading town. This is seriously, you know, like Dark Souls vibes. Ooh. Listen. Oh my god, it is voiced! It doesn't really help, because I still gotta narrate, but... Ho there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin. Yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Damn it, I can't attack them. No campfire. There's a bench though. This is actually cool. No more of that stupid campfire trope. Benches are nice. Because benches are something we can relate with as people, right? We sit on benches to rest? I guess bugs do it too. Just don't sit on bugs. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. So this is gonna be my map, I guess. But I can't, uh, I can't access- Oh, whoa, 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 that's the well. I don't want to drop down yet. I want to explore this town and destroy everything first. It's a keyhole. A stone door with a simple lock. So this is not open yet. I'm guessing this is gonna be open later. There's gotta be like dash and, and stuff. Cause I can't, I'm pressing all the keys right now. I can't roll or anything. All right, let's go down. So you don't get the map until after. That's kind of unfortunate. There's gotta be a way out though. Forgotten crossroads. I thought it said gross roads. Oh, well, you got the typical Metroid enemies. Ones that circle around. These ones are really cute though. I like this thing. I mean, I guess the Metroid ones are kind of cute, too. But these ones are really cute. Oh, this thing's really cute, too! Is it attacking me? This is like a basic flying enemy. This is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, oh, crap! Oops. Where they just fly around without an objective. Even if they see you. Even if you, even if you hit them, they just fly around like idiots. That's a basic flying enemy. So it's, it's really strange that they introduced the non-basic one first. Okay, well, this game is creepy. <laughs> I was saying this game was kind of creepy when I was doing the intro. It is creepy. It's not like crying baby creepy, but crying old man creepy is pretty creepy too. Oh my god, this game is awesome. I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say right now it's worth the money, 15 bucks. Holy crap. We'll see though, if the game ends up being like two hours long, like Rise and Shine, even though the gameplay is amazing, even though it's like overall really cool and it seems really polished, if it's two hours long, then I'm going to be upset. But I'm assuming this game will be at least ten hours long. At least I hope so. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Hollow Nest, descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There, there, all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. 
The story is pretty whatever. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, this, this enemy is easy. No, it's not. I need to wait until he spits to attack him, I'm just assuming. No? What if I... I tried attacking his projectile already. I don't think it does anything. Okay, so this is an enemy I can't pass yet, I'm pretty sure. There's gotta be some armor-piercing ability in the future. Ah, crap! It's okay. I don't want to fall down there. I wonder if this game has invisible walls or like wall chicken and stuff. Actually, wall chicken wouldn't make sense in this game. Because they're bugs. Do bugs eat chicken? No, chickens eat bugs. No, my money! Chickens do eat bugs, right? Ooh, what's that? Oh, what's this? Ow. Okay, I'm missing 2 HP now. Do chickens eat bugs? They do, right? They eat worms, right? Okay, I can't get by there. It's nice that they're introducing Metroidvania aspects already, where... Uh, you reach an area that you can't pass yet. So, you're gonna come back later eventually when you do more exploring. Chickens do eat bugs. Worms. Pretty sure. I'm not a worm though, I'm some kind of beetle. Oh, a bug! Oh, Is this guy a mosquito? Hmm, ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a carto- Oh yes, map! I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Hold left button to view map. Chocolate collect this. Chocolate collect this? A map can be useful, a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you have, if you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. Sell out. She's just now opening our map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. Oh, so the old maps are going to be revealing areas that I haven't been to yet, so I can anticipate what's going to be there. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. I see. Wait, hold on a second. This doesn't tell me anything. This is garbage! I slow down when I read the map though, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's awesome, I actually like this a lot. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that... Well, uh... I don't know where I am. I just have a map. So unlike other Metroidvanias where you actually see where you are, and you see your progress, you're not doing any mapping. The mapping's already done for you by this guy. Oh, what's wrong with this guy? Oh, wow! He jumps. Oh my god, he jumps. That reminds me of Ori in the Blind Forest. That nasty thing in the background is really nasty. Oh, it's right here. I'm assuming these kind of work like the Metroid ones from Metroid Fusion. The ones that stick out and then you gotta freeze them to jump on top of them. Unless I can walk on top of them already. No. That is definitely a no. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I need to like freeze them or, or paralyze them somehow to be able to reach that upper platform. No! Okay, I'm gonna heal now. Wait, I only heal- oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's how it works. So it's not healing all your HP or just one HP, it's healing a bunch of HP based on how much energy you have, or souls. Caterpillar- ah! That was stupid of me. I got distracted by the caterpillar, then I saw the, the spike, and then I tried to dodge it, but 
It's too late. This game is really cute, even though it's creepy. It's creepy cute. Creepy cute is cool. So that's the left room. I'm assuming I'm... Where am I? I'm to the left of the mosquito head, at the bottom right of the map. Oh, there's a boss! Okay, I guess let's let's go kill the boss. It should be fun. Uh, that's not fun. The boss should give me a new ability. In Always Awakening, you got abilities prior to fighting the bosses, and then you use the abilities against the boss. Which is also pretty cool. But, uh... I think if you get abilities from bosses, it's much more traditional Metroidvania style. Maybe not from bosses, but like the bosses have uh, like treasure. Oops! Damn it, I wasn't paying attention. The bosses have some kind of treasure. This actually reminds me of uh, Rise and Shine, because whenever you fire the the gun, you would get kicked back. In this case, it's just hitting something and you kind of recoil back a bit. Uh oh, what's this? Arena? It's just a little mosquito thingy. Ow! Never mind. Mosquito thingy hurts. Oh, there's more! Okay, it really is an arena. Oh crap, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Oh my god, I was healing and then I... Okay, okay, no more healing. I gotta watch the ceiling as well. The ceiling kinda drops stuff on me every once in a while. Holy crap, I actually almost died. Dying that early would be really bad. Alright, which way do I go? I'm assuming this is the wrong way, so let's go this way. Yeah, it's really it's really bad that I don't know where I'm going. Oh, money! This has to be a trap, right? Or is it actually money? Damn, this first area is really long. I don't like to make my videos too long, but this one's already like 20 minutes long. That area I can't reach yet. Oh crap, Mosquito Man is back. Is it a mosquito? It's not a mosquito. It's some kind of bug that shoots nectar or something. So whatever that is. It's not a bee either. It's not really a, a firefly either, because the, the butt doesn't really glow. Oh crap! That thing dashes at you. I had a feeling it was gonna dash at me, but not like that. I thought it was gonna like curl up and roll at me. Because it looks like a roly-poly thingy. What are they called? Ow. Pill bugs, right? What are they even called? That's a mosquito. Oh crap. No! Oh my god. Ow. That was bad. That was really bad. It kind of sucks that the money drops everywhere randomly. So, even if you kill one of those money pouches, uh, you still end up losing some money. More mosquitoes. I gotta be really careful with the mosquitoes. I can't jump up too high, or else I don't have full control over my movements. So I want to like, short hop attack them, so that it bounces me back and I hit the ground faster. And if I miss them for whatever reason, I'm near the ground already. This game is actually already pretty challenging. So the difficulty level has already ramped up to a decent amount, surprisingly. Oh, cool. Am I going the right way? This map is horrible. This is the boss, isn't it? Alright, since... It's already been like 20 minutes. Let's uh, kill the boss and finish this part. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo? Oh, they're called Geos. Sure, let's do it. 
What does that even do? Oh, it opens the door. I see. I thought it was going to be a scam, but it's actually not. Wait. Oh my god, what is that? 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 Wait, it's not a boss? Maybe the boss is on the top then. The last stag. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the bell of a station... The ring of a station bell. It echoed down the stag ways and called to me. Called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch in the depths of Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, uh, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. So this is fast travel. I see. Um, huh, this is kind of anticlimactic to end like this. But I guess we'll end like this.